A nuclear isomer is a metastable state of an atomic nucleus caused by the excitation of one or more of its nucleons. Metastable refers to the fact that these excited states have half-lives more than 100 to 1,000 times the half-lives of the excited nuclear states that decay with a prompt half-life. As a result, the term metastable is usually restricted to refer to isomers with half-lives of 10 minus 9 seconds or longer. Some sources recommend 5 times 10 minus 9 s to distinguish the metastable half-life from the normal prompt gamma emission half-life. Occasionally the half-lives are far longer than this and can last minutes, hours, years, or in the singular case of 180 meters 73 tar, so long that it has never been observed to decay. Sometimes, the gamma decay from a metastable state is given the special name of an isomeric transition. But save for the long-lived nature of the metastable parent nuclear isomer, this process resembles shorter-lived gamma decays in all external aspects. The longer lives of nuclear isomers are often due to the larger degree of nuclear spin change which must be involved in their gamma emission to reach the ground state. This high spin change causes these decays to be so-called forbidden transitions, and thus delayed. Other reasons for delay in emission, such as low or high available decay energy, also have effects on decay half-life. The first nuclear isomer and decay daughter system was discovered by Otto Hahn in 1921. Nucleus the nucleus of a nuclear isomer occupies a higher energy state than the corresponding non-excited nucleus, which exists in the lowest energy state, called the ground state. In an excited state, one or more of the protons or neutrons in a nucleus occupy a nuclear orbital of higher energy than an available nuclear orbital of lower energy. These states are analogous to excited states of electrons in atoms. When excited atomic states decay energy is released by fluorescence. In electronic transitions this process usually involves emission of light near the visible range. Because of the much higher binding energies involved in nuclear processes, most nuclear excited states decay instead by gamma ray emission. For example, a well-known nuclear isomer used in various medical procedures is 99 meters 43 TC, which decays with a half-life of about 6 hours. By emitting a gamma ray of 140 kilo electron volts of energy, nuclear isomers owe their long half-lives to the fact that their gamma decay is forbidden due to a large change in nuclear spin needed to emit a gamma. For example, 180 m 73 Ta has a spin of minus 9 and must gamma decay to 180 73 Ta with a spin of plus 1. Similarly, 99 m 43 Tc has a spin of minus 1 half and must gamma decay to 99 43 Tc with a spin of plus 9 halves. Internal conversion Metastable isomers may also decay by internal conversion, which is a process in which the energy of nuclear excitation is not emitted as a gamma ray, but instead used to accelerate one of the inner electrons of the atom, so that it leaves at high speed and energy. This result occurs because inner atomic electrons penetrate the nucleus where they are subject to the intense electric fields which result where the protons of the nucleus rearrange in a different way. In nuclei which are far from stability in energy, still other decay modes are known. Metastable isomers Metastable isomers can be produced through nuclear fusion or other nuclear reactions. A nucleus thus produced generally starts its existence in an excited state that relaxes through the emission of one or more gamma rays or conversion electrons. Sometimes it happens that the her excitation does not proceed rapidly all the way to the nuclear ground state. This usually occurs because of the formation of an intermediate excited state with a spin far different from that of the ground state. Gamma ray emission is far slower if the spin of the post-emission state is very different from that of the emitting state. 
particularly if the excitation energy is low. The excited state in this situation is therefore a good candidate to be metastable if there are no other states of intermediate spin with excitation energies less than that of the metastable state. Metastable isomers of a particular isotope are usually designated with an M. This designation is placed after the mass number of the atom, for example, cobalt 58 meters. Increasing indices, M1, M2, etc., correlate with increasing levels of excitation energy stored in each of the isomeric states. A different kind of metastable nuclear state is the fission isomer or shape isomer. Most actinide nuclei, in their ground states, are not spherical, but rather spheroidal, specifically, prolate, with an axis of symmetry longer than the other axes. In some of these, quantum mechanical states can exist in which the distribution of protons and neutrons is farther yet from spherical, so much so that excitation to the nuclear ground state is strongly hindered. In general, these states either do excite to the ground state or undergo spontaneous fission with half-lives of the order of nanoseconds or microseconds, a very short time but many orders of magnitude longer than the half-life of a more usual nuclear excited state. Fission isomers are usually denoted with a postscript or superscript F rather than M, so that a fission isomer in, e.g., plutonium-240 is denoted plutonium-240F or 240F94 Pu, nearly stable isomers. Most nuclear excited states are very unstable, and, immediately, radiate away the extra energy. As a result, the characterization, nuclear isomers, is usually applied only to configurations with half-lives of 10 minus 9 seconds or longer. Quantum mechanics predicts that certain atomic species will possess isomers with unusually long lifetimes even by this stricter standard, and so have interesting properties. Some nuclear isomers are so long-lived as to be relatively stable, and can be produced and observed in quantity. The most stable nuclear isomer occurring in nature is 180 m 73 Ta, which is present in all tantalum samples at about 1 part in 8300. Its half-life is at least 10-15 years, markedly longer than the age of the universe. This persistence results from the fact that the excitation energy of the isomeric state is low, and both gamma excitation to the 180 ta ground state and direct beta decay to hafnium or tungsten are all suppressed, owing to spin mismatches. The origin of this isomer is mysterious, though it is believed to have been formed in supernovae. When it relaxes to its ground state, it releases a photon with an energy of 75 keV. It was first reported in 1988 by Collins that 180 mTa can be forced to release its energy by weaker X-rays. After 11 years of controversy those claims were confirmed in 1999 by Bellick and co-workers in the Stuttgart Nuclear Physics Group. Another reasonably stable nuclear isomer is 178 square meters 72 hf, which has the highest excitation energy of any comparably long-lived isomer. One gram of pure 178 square meters hf contains approximately 1.33 gigajoules of energy, the equivalent of exploding about 315 kilograms of TNT. Further, in the natural decay of 178 square meters hf, the energy is released as gamma rays with a total energy of 2.45 MeV. As with 180 mTa, there are disputed reports that that 178 square meters HF can be stimulated into releasing its energy, and as a result the substance is being studied as a possible source for gamma-ray lasers. These reports also indicate that the energy is released very quickly, so that 178 square meters HF can produce extremely high powers. Other isomers have also been investigated as possible media for gamma-ray stimulated emission. Holmium has an interesting nuclear isomers 166 meters 167 Ho with a half-life of 1,200 years. 
which is nearly the longest half-life of any holmium radionuclide. 229 90th has a remarkably low-lying metastable isomers estimated at only 7.8 plus or minus 0.5 electron volts above the ground state. This direct decay has not been observed. If this isomer were to decay it would produce a gamma ray in the ultraviolet range. These ultraviolet gamma rays were thought to have been detected at one time, but this observation has since been found to be from nitrogen gas excited by higher energy emissions. High spin suppression of decay the most common mechanism for suppression of gamma decay of excited nuclei, and thus the existence of a metastable isomer for the nucleus, is lack of a decay route for the excited state that will change nuclear angular momentum by the most common amount of one quantum unit of spin angular momentum. Such a change is necessary to emit a gamma photon, which has a spin of one unit in this system. Integral changes of 2, 3, 4, and more units in angular momentum are possible, but changes of more than one unit are known as forbidden transitions. Each degree of forbiddenness inhibits decay rate by about five orders of magnitude. The highest known spin change of eight units occurs in the decay of 180 mTa, which suppresses its decay by a factor of 1035 from that associated with one unit, so that instead of a natural gamma decay half-life of 10 minus 12 seconds, it has a half-life of more than 1023 seconds, or at least 3 times 1015 years, and thus has yet to be observed to decay. Although gamma decays with nuclear angular momentum changes of 2, 3, 4, etc. are forbidden, they are only relatively forbidden, and do proceed, but with a slower rate than the normal allowed change of one unit. Gamma emission is absolutely forbidden when the nucleus begins in a zero spin state, as such an emission would not conserve angular momentum. These transitions do not occur. Applications Hafnium and tantalum isomers have been considered in some quarters as weapons that could be used to circumvent the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, since they can be induced to emit very strong gamma radiation. DARPA has a program to investigate this use of both nuclear isomers, the potential to trigger an abrupt release of energy from nuclear isotopes, a prerequisite to their use in such weapons, is disputed. Nonetheless a 12-member hafnium isomer production panel was created to assess means of mass producing the isotope. Technetium isomers 99 meters 43 TC and 95 meters 43 TC are used in medical and industrial applications. Nuclear batteries Nuclear batteries in development use small amounts of radioisotopes with high energy densities. In one design, radioactive material sits atop a device with adjacent layers of P-type and N-type silicon, so that ionizing radiation directly penetrates the junction and creates electron-hole pairs. Nuclear isomers could replace other isotopes, and with further development it may be possible to turn them on and off as needed. Current candidates for such use include 108 AG, 166 HO, 177 LU, and 241 AM. As of 2004 the only isomer which had been successfully triggered was 180 MTA, which required more photon energy to trigger than was released. Fission of an isotope such as 177 Lu releases gamma rays by decay through a series of internal energy levels within the nucleus, and it is thought that by learning the triggering cross-sections with sufficient accuracy, it may be possible to create energy stores that are 106 times more concentrated than high explosive or other traditional chemical energy storage. Decay processes Isomers decay to lower energy states of the nuclides through two isomeric transitions. Gamma emission. Internal conversion. Isomers may also decay into other elements, though the rate of decay may differ between isomers. 
For example, 177 MLUB to decays to 177 HF with half-life 160.4 D, or can undergo internal transition to 177 LU with half-life 160.4 D, which then B to decays to 177 HF with half-life 6.68 D. An isomeric transition is a radioactive decay process that involves emission of a gamma ray from an atom where the nucleus is in an excited, metastable state, referred to in its excited state as a nuclear isomer. The emission of a gamma ray from an excited nuclear state allows the nucleus to lose energy and reach a lower energy state, sometimes its ground state. In certain cases, the excited nuclear state following a nuclear reaction or other type of radioactive decay has a half-life that is more than 100 to 1,000 times longer than the average 10 minus 12 seconds, and this excited state is referred to as a metastable nuclear excited state. Some nuclei are able to stay in this metastable excited state for minutes, hours, days, or occasionally far longer, before undergoing gamma decay, in which they emit a gamma ray. The process of isomeric transition is therefore similar to any gamma emission from any excited nuclear state but differs in that it involves excited metastable states of nuclei with longer half-lives. These states are created, as in all nuclei that undergo gamma radioactive decay, following the emission of an alpha particle, beta particle, or occasionally other types of particles that leave the nucleus in an excited state. The gamma ray may transfer its energy directly to one of the most tightly bound electrons causing that electron to be ejected from the atom, a process termed the photoelectric effect. This should not be confused with the internal conversion process in which no gamma ray photon is produced as an intermediate particle.